What's up, everybody? Welcome to Real Talk with Chris and Travis. I'm Travis. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to talk about overcoming adversity. How do you overcome adversity? Drop a comment. Let us know how you overcome adversity. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, don't forget to catch us on Real Talk with Chris and Travis on Instagram.com because you don't want to miss anything. Absolutely. So, overcoming adversity, I mean... I feel like overcoming adversity, you definitely have to have, know that you have a purpose in life. Definitely got to be prayerful. Uh, keep your sense of humor, you know? Most definitely. You know? I mean, I feel like you should, you know, you got to know how to take the, the punches that life brings to you every day, you know? But, I mean, in my situation, I have a disability, so I'm always dealing with People, you know, doubting, always, you know, saying things, thinking I can't do this, can't do that without it actually giving me a shot. So, I mean, I overcome that by just proving them wrong, you know, showing them that I can do things that I'm not defined by my disability, you know. It's, it doesn't define me. So, I mean. I like that. Uh, so, what about you? How do you come up, overcome adversity? I mean, a lot of the things that, you know, that you already touched on for sure, um, you know, being disabled, like you said, it, it, it comes with a lot of adversity because, you know, for me personally, doing things, I have to make a lot of adjustments and, and, and sometimes making those adjustments, man, it'll make people look at you, you know, like, I guess you could say, look at you kind of weird, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, but the biggest part, man, when you're facing adversity is just you know, for one, the thing that keeps me going when I'm going through something rough, I just t tell myself, I know God has more meant for me than this. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's going to get better. You know, even if I don't know when it's going to get better, I just know it's going to get better. Um, another thing that Travis had already said, like, you know, keeping a sense of humor, man. The Bible say that, you know, laughter does a heart good. You know, it's good medicine. So, I mean, always being prayerful and always having a sense of humor. Which, I mean, if you watch this podcast enough, you're you going to laugh at some stuff we say and do, you know. But having that, that sense of humor, I think, is a is a big thing. And also always, you know, being prayerful. Because the thing with adversity, you, you know, adversity, you never know when it's coming or how it's coming, you know. You just pretty much know it's coming. But the only way you can be ready is, again, to, you know, be prayerful. You know, and I always be in the mindset that I'm not ever giving up. You know, things will change. But yeah, you know, you always want to be prayerful. Um, you know, keep your sense of humor. Don't ever let yourself get too far down. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, you definitely have to keep the faith. I mean, this thing called life. I mean, it's going to throw you a monkey wrench hmm. all the time. I mean, you either, you either going to get up when life knocks you down or you can lay there and wallow in it you know i know i choose to get up you know i'm gonna roll with the punches you know whatever life throws at me i'm gonna I'm keep going you know won't let it get me down some days you might have those days where you might feel discouraged i mean or like man was think will things ever get better i mean yeah you might have those thoughts but i mean you got to keep the faith and keep going you know knowing that 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 things will get better, you know, and you have to stand on that, you know, so, I mean, don't let, like, bad times that come against you in life, you know, keep you down, always, you always got to get up, got to keep pressing forward, you know, keep going. You know, and I, I think that that's the best way to get through this pandemic right now, because um, we all, you know, going through it, it don't matter what your money looked like, it don't matter, you know, what your health already was looking like before the pandemic, it don't matter how good things was before the pandemic for individual people, you know, we all, we all going through it, you know, and the thing that'll, you know, help you get through it is just not letting yourself get so worried and so stressed and get so down that you feel like throwing the towel in on life because life is absolutely going to happen to all of us. The good parts of life and the bad parts you know when it happens you just got to be ready for it the best way you can be ready you know um 
And that may involve you, you know, talking to another person, you know, that you feel like is always encouraging you and just helps you to, you know, get through some rough times, you know. Um, I, I believe that everybody at least have one friend or family member that they can kind of confide in and be like, hey, look, you know, I'm going through something right now. I just need you to, you know, talk talk to me, pray with me. Even if it's just, hey, just chill with me today. We ain't even got to talk. Just, I don't want to be by, by myself right now, <laughs> you know, but it's, you know, and, it, and that's just what it is. But, you know, you, you got to stay prayerful, you know what I'm saying? Just try to to put your mind in a better place. You know what I'm saying? Find something else to focus on, even though I know that's that's easier said than done. Um, some people I know personally have lost people that was really, really close to them. And for them to get through each day is like a weight, you know, around their neck. They say they just feel heavy, you know. And the only thing I can do for those people, you know, just to be checking on them and praying for them, you know. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. You know, you just got to keep moving. Yeah, keep moving. I mean... Don't let things that come against you, you know, bring you down. You got to keep going, stay optimistic, know that things will get better. You know, it's just, you know, we all face, you know, storms in our life, you know, that yeah. that come and it may feel like it's lasting forever, but it's really not, you know, things get better. It's always light at the end of the tunnel for, you know. When we're going through tough times so you just got to keep going and you know surround yourself with good people and you know like i said be prayerful keep the faith keep going you know don't give up and see like that right there what you just said surrounding yourself with with good people (laughs) that's that's a big one too because the worst thing that can happen is you going through something and you're surrounded by people that's telling you like i told you so you know what i'm saying i knew this was going to happen I told you it was gonna happen. It's like, man, stop, stop doing that. Cause I already know, like, I already know, something bad happened. I'm in a bad place. See what I'm saying? Don't, don't tell that person. Like, I told you so. You knew this was gonna happen. I told you this was gonna happen. Nah, you know they okay. They messed up, but, you know, all right, we are gonna get through this together. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, when you come through this, you you won't do that again. You know, um, a lot, a lot of times people say, well. People go through bad things because they made bad decisions. I think that's part of the equation, not the whole equation. Because you can make a bad decision and you can still bounce back from it. But sometimes people are born or they're placed in, in, in situations that are not good and it's no fault of their own. Right. I mean, you can pretty much bounce back from anything, you know. Don't uh, ever let anybody tell you that you, you know, oh, you did this, so you probably won't bounce back from that. Nah, you can pretty much bounce back from anything, you know, that happens to you in life. You just gotta, uh, you know, if you don't give up and you don't let nobody try to, I guess, deter you from your purpose in life. Yeah. You know, you just keep going. Don't don't let what somebody tell you you can't do be the truth. You know, because it's it's not the truth. You. You know, you got to believe in your heart and know that you can bounce back from whatever it is that you may be faced with, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy that, like, you know, I always like to say people going to talk. You just don't let whatever they say about you be true, you know? People going to talk. Whether you do good in life or do bad in life, whatever, people going to talk about you behind your back. Some of them going to talk, talk about you to your face, you know? But whatever they say about you, just don't let it be true. Right. And, and that's, that's up to you, you know. Yeah, just let people talk. They're going to say what they want to say anyway, whether you're up in life or down. So, I mean, you just prove them wrong. That's all. Just keep going. Don't give up. Don't let that stop you from, you know, your passion, you know, fulfilling your purpose in life. Right. Just let them talk. Let them watch you from the sideline, you know. You yeah. <laughs> hope. That's all they can do anyway. So, I mean, and keep going. You know, and I think a big thing that helps get you through a rough time or, you know, any type of adversity is understanding where you are at that moment and focusing on where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? And when I say where you want to be, like, okay, if something bad happens to you today, where do I want to be tomorrow? You see what I'm saying? 
Because whatever happened to me today could happen to me again tomorrow, or it may not happen tomorrow. You know, but I'm here right now. Where do I want to be tomorrow? You see what I'm saying? If you if you focus on getting to a better place, you know, being a better person, just getting through this rough time. It's like just like with this pandemic. Me personally, I focus on every day where I want to be tomorrow. You know, which mostly <laughs> I'm in the house. But I mean, one day this pandemic is gonna be over. Hopefully, <laughs> you know, and and when it's over, I'm, you know, I'm going back to life the way it was before the pandemic. But until then, just take one day at a time, you know. Today, me and my family went and got groceries, and we came back home, and we haven't done nothing since. <laughs> Tomorrow, we probably not leaving the house. The next day, probably not leaving the house, you know, but you just focus on each each step in life, I guess I could say, because you don't want to, you know, jump so far ahead of yourself and then things you put in place don't happen. Now you're back in that bad place again. You know, in life, you have to have a plan, you know, and the hard, the hard thing to realize is that you make a plan, but it might not go the way you planned it out. But still in all, you have to have a plan, and then you have to execute that plan, you know. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, and what I like to do is, I like to, I like to think about where I came from, you know. How my life was in the past and how far I've come from that you know that helps me to overcome adversity as well you know so I look at man I had a rough time you know back then and look how far I've made it when people said you probably won't be able to make it from this you probably won't bounce back from that and I mm -hmm. did so I look at the things that I thought was gonna actually tear me down and I actually made it through that so that helps me to get, you know, get past adversity as well. So, I mean, you can't let stuff that at the time it might feel like it's big. It might feel like it's, oh uh, man, how I'm going to come back from this. The same way you did last time. You just got to keep going. Don't give up, you know. Yeah. You know, and I look at, you know, like you said, don't give up. I look at not giving up as... That's that's one of my strengths, one of my superpowers. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm I do not give up. You know, um, specific uh, specifically with driving a vehicle, right? I still don't drive. I've taken lessons to learn to drive. I've had some practice, but I still don't drive. You know, and to my family, they may feel like he he gave up on driving. You know, he's not trying to do anything as far as driving. But the research that I've done on cars that would drive themselves you know and I feel like me having one of those is the same as me chasing my dream of being able to be in my own vehicle and go from here to there you know okay yeah I might not drive the vehicle but I paid for it it's in my name it's my vehicle I can get in and go when I please it's the same thing you know it's the same thing I just didn't get to it the same way everybody else did you see what I'm saying but I'm never going to see that dream happen if I give up, you know, if I give up on trying to make money, if I give up on doing the research, you know what I'm saying? If I give up on getting in vehicles and trying things, you know, but the biggest thing is, you know, getting through a rough time or getting through anything that's hard to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Is never giving up, you know, you find some people, even if it's just one person to just, you know, talk to them and help get your head in the right place, you know, spend time praying. You know, and some people say, well, I don't believe in God. I don't pray. I don't this and that. To those people, I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell y'all. But to the rest of us who do, you know, believe in God or, you know, at least we do pray, you know, spend, spend that time praying, you know, um, and talk to people who can who can help get you in a, in a better place. And then my third thing would be, you know, find something you enjoy doing. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's learning a skill, learning something new, and then turning that skill into a business. Just just find something to focus on that's going to help you get out of that bad place that you're in. You know, that's, that's, that's to me, that's what information I would give anybody. Yeah, I mean, I would say my three, 
my top three things of getting over adverse to well overcoming adversity would be you know uh never give up you know stay prideful and also you know keep your sense of humor you know you know you can't you got to keep your sense of humor you got to keep going know that things will get better you know keep the faith you know and you will make it through this yeah uh, so. Yeah, you know, life is a race, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's a marathon. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's not a 50-yard dash, it's a marathon. Yeah, when life gives you lemon, make lemonade. That's know? right. Yeah. Some some drinkable. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was born with a disability, so I'm going to make the best out of it, you know? Yep. You know, like I said, you sometimes people get put in situations they don't want to be in. Yeah. I know, like me, myself, you know, Travis... We didn't ask for disabilities, you know, but we have them. They don't define us, you see what I'm saying? But we do have them. And the fact that we have them, it, 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 you know, it might not make life so much difficult that you can't live it. You know, it might make it a little tougher at, at certain points. I mean, but we both live it, you know. And me personally, I, you know, I've had people tell me, if I was in your shoes, I don't know how I would be smiling every day. You know, I wouldn't be happy every day. I don't. I just don't think I could deal with it. But you don't know what you could deal with until you go through it. You know, and me personally, right now, I, I'm enjoying life. You know, do I wish the pandemic was gone and things was, was back the way they were before the pandemic? Absolutely. But overall, I'm enjoying life. And, you know, I'm living. I love it. And that's all there is to it. You take everything else as it comes. Right, same with me. I'm enjoying life too. I mean, I mean, I live a regular life just like anybody else. You know, whatever life throws at me, hey, I, I, I go through it. I roll through it. Like, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> I don't let anything stop me. Anything, I don't let anything bring me down. When life throws me a monkey wrench, trying to lock, knock me down, get back up, dust myself off, and I keep going. You know. Yes, sir. So I mean. You just gotta keep going. So y'all drop in the comment. Let us know how how you, how do you overcome adversity. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And we'll be back for next Friday, New Year's, with another video. Oh yeah, Happy New Year's, everyone. Yeah, Happy New Year's. We ain't got no fireworks though <laughs> to set off in the in the place we in. That's kind of dangerous. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> have a Happy New Year. Y'all be safe out there. We'll see y'all Friday. Peace. We out.